Due to a string of issues with YouTube, my channel has been unfortunately demonetized for quite a while. So if you do enjoy my reactions and my content, I'll be moving to a different channel once it hits 500 subscribers. The channel link will be down in the description. Sorry for taking up your time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, first of all, straight up, sorry, because um, the surprise factor for this drip marketing is gonna be a little less than usual. I wake up, 9am, didn't think much about it, oh, it's just another day, and uh scroll through reddit and then i come across a post about baiju what the fuck? it's a friday it's not a monday why what anyway all right i guess i guess now this is a drip marketing reaction video plus dst is a reaction video all right uh let's go Oh, Kave and Baiju? So two five stars then, right? Kave is a five star, right? Baiju's definitely a five star. We've waited so long for this man ever since 1.0. There's no way he's not a five star. There's no way he's not a five star. Also, two more dendro characters. Two more tall male dendro characters. My, uh, my female buddy is going to be very pleased as she is a husband connoisseur. I don't know if I'm gonna be rolling for these two, because I'm still devastated about Dia. I'm gonna pull for her regardless, but like, wouldn't you just like the character you're playing as to be, you know, to do some big damage numbers, or at least, you know, support you in some way? Whoever made her kits, like seriously, dude, sheesh. Kave, Imperian Reflection, renowned Sumeru Architect, a renowned architect from Sumeru, known as the Light of the Kishawar. He is one of the most higher profile figures in the industry. Yeah, and most gullible too. Look at that briefcase though. Woo. Makes me feel like he's gonna like trigger it and just tur turn it into an Iron Man suit or something. For fuck's sake. You know, I, honestly, I'm I'm more tempted to get Baiju than Kave. For, for probably the same reason everyone's gonna be getting in. It's been a long while. Baiju, beyond mortality. Now that's an interesting title. Beyond mortality. I remember he has he has a he has a sickness. He's uh he has this sickness and uh I think Changsheng is helping him nullify it. Or something. This Chichi brings up um I, I believe Baiju's sickness and a couple other people too. There is a pharmacy in Liyue called Boo Boo, and in it is Doctor Baiju. His skills make all illnesses better, but his medicines are really better. Okay, and now we move over to Facebook, because they always post the lore in Facebook. This is so off your normal schedule, like what the hell? Why a Friday? Do you have something reserved for Monday? Dr. Baiju, something is bothering him, but he won't tell me anything. He hates death, but he's always researching it. I don't understand, but that's not a problem. I know that Dr. Baiju is a good person page ripped out of Chi Chi's notebook by an unknown person. Huh? This nursery rhyme has been widely spread throughout Feiyun's slope and has been used by countless parents to warn their children not to get sick or else. However, it seems that the main character of this nursery rhyme is hardly feared by children. Instead, it is with utmost affection that he is called Mr. Baiju by them. The impression is mostly attributable to Baiju's gentle and friendly demeanor. Interacting with him is a most refreshing experience, and no matter how anxious the patients may be, his confident smile never failed to reassure. Regrettably, Baiju cannot save all his patients, himself, for example. Herbalist Gui has mentioned that Baiju's physical condition is extremely poor and he often has to go back to his residence to rest after seeing patients. Even so, his smile never falters when in front of people. When Gui asked him about this, he replied, if a doctor looks sick to himself, how can his patients face their illness with confidence? Day by day, Baiju heals his patients. His ever-present smile hides the numerous bitter medicine he takes and the pain he suffers alone. The way they phrase that is kind of depressing. I wonder what illness he has. And how how would such a character even be fit for combat? Unless he's like he's like just a badass really like like standing still most of the time I and mean, he's like whip 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 whip. And he lets all his abilities do the work. And we move on to Kabe. Mainstream Sumeru Academia tends to hide a certain fact from time to time. Which is that for some people, talent can occasionally be more of a burden instead. Nevertheless, 
This view can also be, be but an excuse. In truth, it is your character that determines your destiny first and foremost. The aforementioned ideas are the sorts that Kaveh will persistently rebuke. Oh, I th he reminds me of when like Kuki was released and I had no idea what Kuki's element was. Like, look at this man. So There's such a huge range of colors on him. As a designer and outstanding and alumnus, Kaveh has quite the reputation among academia students and is idolized as a role model by students of Kshawar. Unfortunately, his career is not as plain sailing as people imagine. The same can be said for many other facets of his life. Titles, rumors, fame, reputation, these are all mere byproducts of his work. Equipped with astounding professional design skills, Kaveh puts his heart and soul into his work and is imbued with ideals and pursuits of for aesthetics and architectonics. Designers are not in charge of the construction's final execution, yet they hold responsibility for all its aspects, thus be it design details, safety and security, or practicality. No effort may be spared in ensuring the quality of each aspect. On top of that, being one of the best in his field, Kaveh pays additional attention to the aesthetics and human elements that he is concerned about throughout the process. For him, designs that are completely divorced from reality should be classified as fantasy, whereas a building that is actually put into construction must have practical value. That said, it is rather inconceivable that such an extraordinary architect would have been rendered bankrupt by a single project. Unfortunately, very few know about this matter, and most of them keep it a secret. As for Kaveh himself, he is deathly afraid that the secret of his bankruptcy might ever leak out. It is thus fair to say that he is not really living his ideal life. So it was Dory then. I was thinking before, like, uh, it might have been like a couple projects lumped together, and one of them was Dory that drove him to bankruptcy. No, it was Dory. <laughs> Dory making him build her mansion caused him his in almost cost him his entire career. Jesus, Dory. How can you make it up to the man? If if that ever crossed your mind, I mean, you know, husbando collectors are eating good. Baiju definitely is more interesting to me as a character than Kabe. Right? That, that's just me. That's just me. So there's a higher probability that I'll pull for Baiju. He looks very interesting, so, you know, and I'd like another few more dendro units to my team. Now we move on to Dia's teaser. Dia, Dawn Over the Sand. See? Dia, can the wall really keep the sandstorms out? <sighs> Stalking. She never meant for it to keep anything out. The wall... Don't you think Sumero City's a bit far, Dia? She'll get homesick. Besides, who knows how the people ah, in the rainforest will treat her? Man. Mm. Please, can't you let us in? No, entry's prohibited. But the sandstorm is raging, right. and we have a child with us. You are to hearing. No means no. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Easy now. Watch Ooh, your step. Oh, Tia with a with a cloak. Don't worry. If they do find you, I'll handle it. For how fierce she looks, she's she has a really Relax. soft side. Just trust the Dendro Archon. Things are different now. <sighs> Whatever you say. But what are you planning with all that Mora? Huh. Isn't that like your whole life savings? <sighs> You'll see when we get there. All right, we'll take good care of the girl. Your generous donation will be used to provide for the desert orphans. Oh. I'll need a name for the fund. How about the Wall of Hope? That wall was never meant for keeping things out. It was for protection. I hope the kids uh, can forget about all the sandstorms and have a chance at a real life. Aww. He spent all her, her savings to save the save the orphans. Oh, that was that's sweet. I'm pretty sure this is before the, the storyline of us, no, of the Sumeru arc. 
Because I'm, I'm pretty the sure th this is more lax now, and they allow Nobody people to pass no through, right? No. After the whole conflict. Oh, How about the wall? Ah, she's so pretty. Well, day one. Day one, getting her. No question asked. I can't miss out on this. A no way. Well, I guess so. that's all there is to it today. Hopefully, or else it'll be really awkward. They released something else today, and uh, I didn't get to catch it. Baiju was definitely a surprise, and Kave was a surprise as well. But Baiju more so because he's uh, he's been in the game for so long. Yeah, so that that's that's a good thing that we're finally getting him. I'm I'm excited for his uh, character actually. Right, DS demo comes out Tuesday. And uh, Mika's, Mika's demo won't come out until like uh, midway through the patch when they change banners. So that'll be fine. Anyways, hey, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. I'm definitely excited for Baiju's character more than Kave. But you know, let me know who you guys are gonna pick when 3.6 rolls around. And uh, hope you guys have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And you know, cheers. See ya.